Hi, so I wanted to show you a preview of my sixth grade math interactive notebook. When you purchase my notebook, you will be given a um, file. A, it's a two PDF files. Um, you will open up the sixth grade interactive notebook and you will see the first PDF uh, file is the answer key and the second one is the actual notebook. So I've actually already opened them. And this is the notebook. You will see there is, up here it shows, it goes to about 99 pages, um, except for the cover page and the end page. Um, so roughly there's there's over 90 pages. Um, there's an all about me, my math notebook, your expectations, the reasons for it. Students will sign and date down below. Grading rubric. Uh, this is really nice to have so that students know how they will be graded. There's first quarter, second quarter, third, and fourth, and it breaks it down how the students are going to be graded. And then you can also write in some teacher comments on there. Um, I also included a blank template to where you can change the grading scale, so if you don't like my grading scale, you can change that. Math reference sheet. Here's my table of contents, and it's continued. Uh, goals. This is really nice for students to have to set goals. You can have, uh, you can print this uh, multiple times to have them uh, set goals for first quarter, second, third, and fourth. They will also have a look back to see did I accomplish those goals um, or did I not accomplish them or are they still in progress. Uh, reflection. I actually use this reflection page quite a bit. Anytime my students are learning a new concept and I have direct instruction, um, I will use the reflection page on the left side of the notebook um, so that they can write what they learned, give an example, and draw a visual. Um, and so here we actually are getting into the standard. Uh, this is number sense. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly so you can see the different activities. Um, it does have the standard and then the I can statement. Uh, when I show you the answer key, it, it actually gives you the I can, um, so you can have students write that in. And you can always change the I can statement to whatever you like. So this is all the number sense. At the end of each standard, you will see this um, vocabulary templates. I do cell phone templates. Um, it's a matching activity. They will have the definitions and you will have this little cover where the little um, aliens will be asking what, for example, uh, what is a fraction? And they will, your students will cut that out, fold on the solid line right here and glue those to the cell phones. Okay, and now we're getting into, um, this is ratios and proportional relationships. And some more cut and paste. Students will need glue, scissors, uh, color pencils, markers, anything like that to help them with it. Um, here's the matching activity for the ratios and proportional relationships. We're in expressions and equations. Cutouts. And then again, here's that matching activity. We're in geometry. There's some foldables, some cutouts. Here's your matching activity and your statistics and probability. Some more foldables. And then at the end, it says this school year. Students will fill it out, talk about how the school year went. Um, and then I have also blank templates so that um, if there's anything you feel that I miss that you would like to go back and have students fill out, um, you can always do that. And I just want to show you real quick the answer key so you can see how the answer key is set up. So again, I fill in the I can statements. Um, you will see those right here. I fill those in. You can change them to um, anything that you like and then just go through. You'll see I just answered all of the the problems and that's how it will look. Hmm. 
and you can have students make it very colorful make it just look really nice and also uh, what I mean by colorful is you can have them color code um, just so that it's easier for them anytime they have an upcoming test or it's just nice to be able to study all right, and that's it. Um, if you like my uh, notebook, you will actually find a link at the um, underneath this that um, tells you where you can purchase my interactive notebook. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video.